quick story. Today when I was on my way to the gym, I didn't feel like going to the gym. I was literally driving asleep. So tired. Guess what I wanted to do? Sleep in the truck. I wanted to sleep in the truck outside the gym. But guess what I did? It's kind of like push-up. Or like eating right. Like, I'm giving it to you. It's just not that easy. You eat really well. That's why it really starts here. I'm so, so tired. I don't remember when the last time I felt like this was. Beat up. Tired, but I'm still up. It's 7.17, I'm out of the gym. You noticed earlier, I was like half asleep. I was freaking tired, right? 99% of me wanted to stay home and just go, actually, 99% of me wanted to just go back home and sleep. 99% of me just wanted to like stay in the car, not even go inside the gym and go to sleep. But that's not me, right? And so in situations like that, I always ask myself, is that me? What I do is what defines me. It's not what I say, it's what I do. So anybody can say anything, but it's about the actions. It's about the facts, right? So I ask myself, is that me? No. And I think about my mom. Even up to right now, she wakes up at 3 o'clock. And don't you think that she wants to go back to sleep? Don't you think she doesn't want to go to work? At least I ask myself that, right? Like, don't you think she wants to stay in bed when it's 38 degrees? And here, I'm debating about going back to bed because I'm going to go work out. No. So, it's two things, right? Like, I always... And by the way, like, I'm not no motivational dude. I'm not... No, no. no. The point of this mortgage vlog is to let you in on my life and just, you know, show you that I'm just like everybody else. I just happen to do mortgages. And I just happen to think this way, right? I ask, my I ask myself a series of questions, right? Is that me? Do you think your mom would do this? So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. So next time you feel that way, look, just push through. The next time you're thinking about buying a house and you want to quit because it's not easy or because the bank's asking you for too many documents or the bank's giving you a hard time. Turning around, stopping everything is an easy thing. Anybody can do that. Which is why most of the population never has anything, never owns anything. If it was that easy, anybody would be able to do it. Right? So just remember that. It's 7.59. You guys know what time it is? Okay, here's our daily affirmation. Aaron. Well, today guys, I am happy. I've enjoyed my day, and I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Look at that house. It's like two years under construction. So today, I am positive, and I am gonna do great in school. I'm on that level as well. There you go. That makes you a winner. In life, you're always gonna have options. You have the option to wake up early and be on time to school or you have the option to be late. I had the option of going to the gym and sleeping outside. Guess what I did? I went to the gym exactly. We need to eliminate the options and we <coughs> need to start waking up early and being on time. I love you, son. Did you just wipe my kiss off? No. I saw that. Get over here. What just happened right now is my favorite part of my day. I look forward to doing this every day. It's fun, isn't it? I mean, what, I mean, tell me that what you just saw isn't fun. So good morning, everybody. I, I just got off of a very good phone call with a borrower just now. It was very interesting, worth sharing with you. Here's what happened. The borrower is uh, inquired about refinancing his property and taking some cash out for a combination of a couple of reasons. Before we hung up, he, he said that, hey, look, I'm going to have to get back to you because I am looking to uh, see what the tax implications are going to be. The reason why I'm making this video today is to share with you that anytime you withdraw money from your property, whether it be your primary property, whether it be your vacation home, whether it be an investment, whatever the case is, all cash out is tax-free. That is correct. 
all money you withdraw from your equity from any property is tax free. So keep that in mind when determining whether you want to sell or refinance or tap into your equity. <gasps> oh my god, is this your house? Yeah. Oh my god. Hi, Mama. Did you buy the house? Do you need a home loan? No, no. Can I get you a home loan? Mommy, mommy. Can I get you a home loan? Um, Can I, I get you a home loan? Wait, wait, wait. It's my turn to talk. Um, okay, hold on. My turn. My turn. My no, turn. No, no, my, uh, I got it for my birthday. Oh, my God. How did you get it? Did you get a loan on it? Yeah. You did? What yeah. type of a loan did you get? Was it a 30 year fix? Oh, okay. It doesn't have a home loan. It's got a home alone. Oh, it has a chimney too. Oh, it has a chimney too. Okay. It's a, it's a chameleon. A chameleon? A chameleon. Wait, can I Chameleon. Chameleon? Chameleon. I don't know. Chameleon. Yes. So why can chameleons go like backwards? Because that's, that's, their, that's what they do. Hold that thought. I want to share something with you right now. Hold that thought. Okay, so here is something to consider. So I just got off the phone with this borrower. This borrower has been renting at this property for the past four years, okay? He pays $2,100 in rent. And he's finally decided to buy, uh, he's gonna be buying out in the city of like a Visalia, and he's totally fine with the mortgage payment of 21 to $2,800 maximum. So remember, the borrower has been renting for Four years, he pays $2,100. Four times 12, 48, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get 48 months times $2,100, because that's what he pays in rent. He told me that he's tired of boy throwing his money away. I don't even wanna share this with them. This is probably gonna piss him off. In other occasions, I've shared this with other borrowers and they just get pissed off. 100,800, that's a ton of money. $2,100 in the grand scheme of things isn't a whole lot. I mean, that's what the average rent is going for. So it's not that bad, but that's a hundred thousand, a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars that you can pretty much kiss goodbye. That doesn't sit well with me as opposed to having a mortgage payment of he's willing to pay $2,800. Yeah, it's a $700 difference, but it'll be number one, better lifestyle. Number two, He's gonna be reducing his principal balance. He's gonna be paying interest on the money, which is still reasonably low. And then number three, he's building equity as time goes by. You've gotta pay for housing no matter what. Paying for a mortgage, you're killing two birds with one stone. You're paying for your housing and you're building wealth. Simple as that. If you're paying over $2,000 in rent, I encourage you to reach out to me. Juan Torres, your trusted mortgage professional.